Gonzalo Ascraga comes from a family of riders. His father Jaime has represented his country to the highest level and 29-year-old Gonzalo is following in his footsteps with a strong Olympic ambition. He is this week's Athlete in Focus. I started riding when I was eight years old. It, for us, it's kind of like a family sport. You know, my dad has been riding all his life, my dad Jaime, and my brother Andres also. We just grew up into it, and, and we love the sport, and we've been around horses all our lives. So. I have four horses at the moment, two 10-year-old, one of them Fabio, and a, a fast little one, Haiti set. Uh, she's been also really nice to ride. It's, it's fun to, to go fast sometimes. I also have uh, Quite Nice. She's been with me a uh, long time, like eight years, uh, since she was six. She's also had some good and bad moments, mostly good. I really like her. And Con Luba, he's a nine-year-old, I think uh, with a lot of prospect and developing, trying to make it. My personal ambition has been for a while to go uh, compete for my country go to Olympic Games, to go Pan American Games, World Equestrian Games, Central American Games. I, I had the opportunity to compete in the Central American Games like five years ago, had good results there. And I think it's about the moment with the horse and when you get it, you get it. I think I have a good opportunity now with the horses I have now. And the, the idea is to, to compete with my country and, and enjoy it. That's the part that counts. The sport in Mexico has changed a lot over the last five years. Made all, almost all the shows international, so that, that makes us uh, work harder as riders and uh, prepare us for international shows like Spruce Meadows in Europe and stuff. And uh, also the chef de keep and, and the federation has done an incredible job um, to, to get us into Nations Cup, to be more competitive internationally, because. I don't know, five years ago, we, don't, we didn't really have international shows, so it was just us against uh, us, not the Mexicans. So we're kind of getting in the groove, and I think the results for Mexico have been great. Every time we're not on top of a horse, I'm, I'm trying to work. We own radio stations in Mexico, so we sell advertisements. I, not many hobbies, I like to golf a little bit. I'm terrible at golf, so <laughs> I try to stay on the horse. That there's where we have more fun.